Hello everyone, this is Hunter SD here, and the hype train has officially begun for Ruby Volume 6. This is the week that it finally airs. It's currently Sunday right now, the 21st. We got... It's very close, guys. It's coming very soon here. But, today we're gonna be... We never need prediction episodes that I did a long time ago. Uh, I did those uh, during Volume 5, when they were coming out for the episodes, when, when they were first releasing. And I predicted the episodes. Most of the time, I was bummed, okay? <laughs> but that was mostly me just going off the whim and what I thought was going to happen. I do have a concrete thing of what I think is going to go down in the first episode. So, we're first going to be, here's my first prediction. We're first going to be meeting at Haven Academy and Team Ruby and uh, Junior, Quo, and Oscar slash Ospin say their goodbyes. They're going to... Basically, they're just saying their goodbyes because they're going to be going to Atlas now. And that's where they need to go. So, so the people who are going to stay back are going to be Ilya. Sun is likely probably going to stay with his team. And we may be able to see the team again because it's been a long time. Who knows, maybe they might get new outfits too. That would be kind of cool to see them with new outfits and shit. But I highly doubt that we'll probably get the same outfits again in the new engine. So, oh man... It's like just thinking about what could happen in this episode just gets me excited, you know, because, oh, we're almost here. But, yeah, basically the first section of the episode is going to start at Haven Academy. Uh, the people who are going to Atlas are just saying their goodbyes at this point, and the people who are going to be staying behind and rebuild Haven Academy are going to basically just stay there for the rest of the volume. We may go back there a little bit during the season, but we probably won't see them that whole much in the volume itself. But, and then now we go to where, in the trailer, we see a train station, which is where we're probably going to be going next to go to the train itself. We're probably going to meet the granny there, or they might meet her on the train. And then as soon as they get on the train a little bit afterwards, the Grim attack, the Manticore's attack, the Sphinx Grim attacks, and everything that goes down. They try to defend the train, but obviously... Indicating from the trailer, the train crashes. Somehow they get separated from Team Junior. What I think really happens is that the train gets cut in half. One train, one Team Ruby, and Team Ruby, Oscar, and Quo. Oscar, Ospin, and, and uh, Quo are on. They and the Granny are on. Their train is completely crashes. It gets separated from the other half. And the other half is where Journey is, and they still keep going on their way to Atlas. They're fine. It's just us. Of course, we get fucked over, and the train, we fail from stopping the train from crashing. And then now we are on foot again. But I think after this point, we'll probably go and meet the villains. We'll see before the train crashes, we cut to the villains, and we see Salem having her conversation with Edward, because... You know, if you really think about it from the trailer, it really does sound like she is talking to Emma like, if you don't, like, basically what I'm trying to say is that with her tone of voice with Emma is basically like, like, this isn't a threat, like, if you don't follow me, like... You will, I will ruin your life to the end of your days, basically. So at this point, she's threatening her. Like, Santa may think that is not a threat, but she's definitely threatening her to keep staying in the uh, Salem on my like, grounds. Like, even though Cinder is gone, Salem is trying, trying to get Cinder's replacement. That's likely going to be Emerald. We, we don't see Mercury in the trailer at all, so it makes me question if she... Because of the failure of Haven Academy and everything else, we're trying to like do the same thing what they did at Beacon Academy. Uh, she probably took out an anchor on Mercury. He could be dead he, in this episode, but we'll we'll see what happens with Mercury here. Because he's something's probably gonna happen there because we really don't see him at all in Turner or it's just rumors and he's still alive. But we'll see. Um, and then now after like this whole next. They, we meet back with Team Ruby. The granny survives the crash, so they take her with them because where's she else gonna go? 
at this point. And at the end of the episode, this is going to be the ending, uh, Team Ruby or someone from there or Quo and uh, Quo slash Oshpin and uh, even Quo could ask who she is. She takes out the goggles to reveal that she is a Sublime Warrior. I really want this, like, at the end of the episode. Like, I really am curious. One of the reasons why I think she's uh, a Sublime Warrior is mainly because I think at one point during Volume 5's production, they wanted to put a Sublime Warrior in the volume, but they had to cut it out due to time purposes. So they have this old granny in the trailer, so it makes me question if she was supposed to be the Sublime Warrior from Volume 5 or was supposed to be Volume 6. So it does make sense as to why she puts on the glasses on is to hide the, the fact that she is a Sublime Warrior. It would make sense as to why she lives so long, what's going to see them, couldn't find her, and, and that kind of stuff, and her goons. Um, so that's why she lived for a long time. So this Sublime Warrior is likely going to be training Ruby in how to use it because for some reason Ozpin fucking can't. Or <laughs> Oh god, it's just... I want her, the granny, to be a Sublime Warrior so that she can change or that she can train Ruby. That's really what I want her to be as a Sublime Warrior. But yeah, that's pretty much how I see the episode going out is one... Uh, everyone who is going to Atlas says their goodbyes and they head to the train station. Uh, soon as they get to the train station, they meet the granny. They She looks suspicious at first to them, but they really don't mind it as much. But then the train crashes. No, no, sorry. The train gets attacked by Grimm, so they try to defend it. But of course, they fail. They get one side of the train to crash onto the ground. And the other side keeps going and it's completely fine. And then the granny is there with them, and so they take her with, and the next thing they know it, we be back with the villains, and everything else goes down from there, and then we cut to the end of the episode with the reveal of granny being a civil warrior. And that's one of the reasons why they keep her for the rest of the volume, because honestly, if she wasn't a civil warrior, there would be no point of keeping her, like... Obviously, you can get her to a destination and then just drop her off there and not have her back for the rest of the morning. But I think one of the reasons why she is a survivor is because she definitely seems like she's going to be an important, a important character. And that's why I think she will be. Um, I don't think we're going to get Adam in this episode. I think that will be for episode two. We'll probably meet Adam again. I do think the mask in the trailer is temporary. I think they kept that to... Hide the fact of the reveal of something with that, and maybe he's a survivor warrior as well, possible, or he's just a regular person and it's just symbolism from the mask and such a thing. And the only survivor warrior reveal we're probably gonna get is with the granny. I expect her to be a survivor warrior, I expect it with Adam. I'm not quite sure it's possible. Or he could have red eyes too, and I think he might have red eyes to be quite honest with you at this point. But at, at this rate, a lot of people want him to be a civilized warrior. So that's one of the biggest theories out there. They could be, we could get that reveal in episode two. And one of the reasons why they, like, they put him on the mask again in the trailer is to hide it. So it's like, yeah, cause I mean, we're definitely going to get the reveal pretty soon of what Adam completely looks like without the mask. Probably in episode two easily. And oh boy. I'm just excited for this volume to come back, okay? We're so close that it's hard to think right now when trying to predict the first episode, but I did predict it. It's ready to go. <clears throat> but yeah, that's low-key of how I am seeing the episode playing out. And yeah, this has been a Hunt SD here. What are your thoughts on what... What do you think episode one is going to be? Leave it in the comment section box below. And then leave a like, comment, and subscribe for future videos like these. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.